welcome back to my channel. My name's Hannah if you're new here. Today is going to be a little bit different from my normal content. It's funny because I actually was planning to post a video showing you guys my desk makeover, how I fixed it up, painted it, did all of that, and it was five hours of footage, and as I was editing it, getting closer to being finished, it completely deleted. And I was a little bit frustrated. I was like, wow. And it was, I was going to upload it the very next day. Because around here I post every Tuesday and Friday and sometimes Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I was going to post it on a Tuesday and I ended up missing my Tuesday upload day because it all deleted the night before. And I was like, wow, I can't literally stay up all night. And so I was laying in bed, it was already 2 a.m. at this point because I had, I had already stayed up late trying to finish this and God really just put it on my heart like, I had another plan for you. I had a plan for you to post a different video and God really laid it heavily on my heart to share a video of my testimony. It's different from what my normal content is. I do try to share about Jesus because everything that I do is because of him. Nothing that I do is on my own. All the glory goes to him. But I had never thought about posting a video like this before. I usually have a list of ideas of videos to post and I had never, it had never crossed my mind to share my testimony, to share my faith, to share why I'm a Christian, how the person that I am today, how being a Christian affects that. I mean, being a Christian is who I am today. Being the Lord's child is who I am. And being saved completely changed my life, completely changed my identity. Um, because now I'm a child of God. I got saved... 2019, May of 2019, God really just laid it on my heart to share my testimony with you guys. So this is going to be a very minimal editing video, just, and I'm just going to be real with you guys. I'm going to share it. I'm not going to cut out my ums and blah blah blahs and stuff like that. I'm just going to lay it out for you guys, and I really, I, I'm praying that even if this only gets one view, I'm praying that it speaks to someone, it speaks to you out there, because maybe you've been, you've been having doubts, you've been, like, doubting, and just feeling like something is being weighed on your shoulders, and maybe it's God telling you to come to him, to turn, knock my mic over, to to turn from your sinful ways, your world, your worldly ways, and to turn to him. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to keep this intro as short as possible and just tell you my story. And I'm praying that it's, that God puts something on your heart as you watch this. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a little background. I was raised in the church as a kid. I've always my family's a Christian family. We've always gone to church. So, um, I went to a church camp in seventh grade and it's kind of like an altar call kind of thing. Everybody comes, comes up, raises their hand if they want to be saved by God, you know, and hundreds of people go up. That was, I was one of those hundreds of people and I was kind of doing it more, looking back at it now, probably for show, maybe for attention, maybe just to follow the crowd, something. I was in seventh grade, I already thought I was saved, but I was just like, well, I don't have a, I, I don't have a specific time that I was saved, so I guess this is going to be my specific time, so in the future I would tell everyone that was when I was saved at a church camp. And then, I, I even studied the Bible. Uh, right, right up until I was saved, I was studying the Bible. I was t 
taking notes, like trying to go in depth, praying. I, f- I thought I was praying. And obviously my heart was just not in it. I was not doing it for the right reasons. I was doing it more to be a good Christian and more for show, which is what a lot of Christians fall into that trap, even as a saved Christian. But, you know, it kind of reminds me of the Pharisees of outwardly you, you appear like a Christian you do all the right things because that's what I was. I I was I wasn't getting into a bunch of bad stuff as what the world would call bad stuff like as a high schooler and middle schooler I wasn't going out drinking all the time. That was just I wasn't that type of person. That's just not what I did for fun. I um so that's why everyone I was a church kid. I was a typical church kid. And that's why everyone pretty much just assumed that I was saved. And, but that was not the case. And I honestly, truly thought that I was a Christian for years, years. And then in, uh, in 2019, I met my boyfriend that I currently have now. Um, he was already saved when we started talking And he was the only person who really challenged me on my faith. You know, he would ask me questions like, Do you know for a fact that you're going to heaven? Not to try to demean me, but to try to... To get me thinking. To truly get myself looking at my own heart. And, you know, I answered yes in front of him. Like, yes, of course. But... Deep down, I was like, something dropped in my heart, and I was like, I I don't know. Like, that's a scary thought. Living all these years thinking that I'm going to go to heaven, but then when that question was asked, I was like, wow, I don't know if I'm going to go to heaven. And that's scary, you know? And that was when I was really like, wow, I might go to hell. And so, he was really the first person to challenge me on my faith, to not just look at the things that I did, look at that I was a good girl, and but to look at what came from my heart, the things that I believed, how I acted, that other people wouldn't notice as being not a god not characters of a godly woman now am i perfect now of course not i still have a lot a lot of changing to do but he was he was he was the person who didn't just assume that i was a christian just because i said i was and because i did all the right things on the outside but he 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 challenged me on the things so he wasn't really 100% sure if I was saved. We were still kind of talking, early phases of dating. And then he took me to his Baptist church with him. I'd already been going to my church. I played in the worship band, you know. Um, and then he took me to a little Baptist church. We went there. We had gone there for a few weeks. And then one day after church, we were talking. It's a very small church, so... um like 10 people go there and we were talking to the pastor and his wife and his wife had shared about her testimony and about how she had always thought she was saved and then all of a sudden she just started having doubts and that was exactly what I had been going through that week that week I was literally watching YouTube videos of how to know if you're a Christian, Do You Really Know God by Paul Washer is one of the sermons that I watched. And that was really one of the sermons where I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm doubting if I'm a Christian or not. And I would say like, Lord, please save me. You know, obviously my heart was not in it at the time. Um, But it was just crazy to me when the pastor's wife said that I was like, that is literally what I'm doing, what I'm going through right now. 
Oh, and that it was the exact week. God's timing could have not been more perfect. And so throughout that week, I was really just in my head thinking, and I was like, I was so anxious, and I was honestly scared about where I was going to go after I died, that I was going to go to hell, because all these years I had just assumed that I was a Christian, you know, prayed, but it was just all, it was all fake. Even when people weren't looking, I'd pray, but it wasn't real. It was more just to be this certain type of person. I don't really know, but a few days later, this was on Sunday that the pastor's wife shared this with me. On uh, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, a few days later, I called the pastor. And I was like, I don't think I'm saved. Um, And so he's like, okay, we need to get this sorted out. And so he's like, this Friday... Um, me and his, him and his wife were going to meet me at the church and we were going to pray together. And so I met them at the church on that Friday and he shared me many scriptures from Romans about being saved and what salvation is. And then he asked me if I wanted to pray aloud and I said, yeah. And usually I'm a pretty shy person, but for some reason, I just, I wasn't nervous. It was like, it wasn't even like they were there listening to me. It was almost like I was just alone. And so I confessed my sins and confessed that I needed God. And it came truly from my heart. And it was a wholehearted decision. And God, he saved me. And he did all of that. He led me to him. Everything that's happened in my life has been for a reason. Maybe, hopefully, this testimony can share, can, will speak to one of you guys. Maybe this whole time you're like, uh, I'm a Christian. But there's always that doubt in the back of your mind. But, and let me tell you, if you have those doubts and you're concerned about being saved... Go to someone, talk to someone about it, talk to God, read the word, read Romans, and truly look into your heart, and just, just don't regret it. When years go down the line, and you're living how you want to live, and then you never know what can happen, you never know when you're gonna pass away, so, but it was amazing, it was truly amazing. After I prayed it, while I was praying it, when I was like, Lord, please save me, I kid you not, I am not exaggerating, warmth flooded my body. I'm getting chills thinking about it. It, I've never felt such a thing. It wasn't like I had a fever. It was just like from my toes all the way up to my head, just warmth filled the inside of me and it it was a it was just amazing. I can't even explain it. And after that, I wasn't automatically perfect. But the difference is when I would do certain things or think certain ways that were worldly, I wouldn't just do it and think it was right. I started getting convicted and that was a different thing. When I would say something, then I'm like, oh, well, that's not, that's not godly. I was convicted for it. I wasn't just like, oh, yeah, it's fine. That was, and God changed me. He changed many parts of me, and um, he's still working in me today, and I am so, so grateful for my relationship with him. He is my complete best friend. You will never have a friend as good as Jesus, and he's always there for you, even if you sin and let him down, he will, he still loves you, even if you do the worst thing, he still loves you, and you just repent from your sins, turn away from them, study the word diligently, and focus on God, get your strength from Jesus, and not from yourself, that is something 
that after two years of being a Christian, two and a half years of being a Christian, I'm I'm still learning and I'm truly starting to understand how to use God's strength and not my own. Because that's hard. That's hard to let go of trusting in yourself and completely trusting in God. Someone that we can't even talk face to face with, you know? So sometimes it it can be hard to trust in God, but that is when your life is truly changed. But hopefully my testimony made sense. I just wanted to share it and just trust that God will speak through me and even if it doesn't make any sense to some of you, I truly believe that God is going to speak to at least one of you out there. So and if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram if you want them to be more private, but um yeah. That's my testimony and I would not be who I am today without God. I would not. And even though being a Christian can still be difficult and has many trials, many, many trials, you can have joy throughout those trials. And it's crazy. You might be going through the hardest time of your life, but with Jesus, you can still be joyful. And you will never, 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 never experience joy like you do when you're with Jesus. His steadfast love, his comfort, his peace, his joy is just unexplainable until you experience it yourself. So I'm just, I'm sharing this for whatever reason that God wants to use it for. And I'm praying for you guys and praying that this reaches someone, reaches someone's heart. And all I ask of you is to truly look at your own heart while you're watching this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Even if it's just one of you, thank you. And I share it. Share it to people. Share it to people who might need to hear it, who need some encouragement. God just put it on my heart. And he turns any situation into good and... Even though it was very frustrating of losing five hours of footage of editing, he turned it into something even better. So, I love you guys, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.